what's the one thing everybody told me I had to do when in Baguio, the Baguio night market. It's about 9, 10 right now. Night market is still getting set up. I guess it's Filipino time, it's a little late. What I'm gonna do, I got from 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. I think some nights it's open till 2 a.m. I'm at $10. I'm gonna see how much I can get, or even if I can even spend all this $10 while I'm here. So the people are still getting set up here. I gotta get some food. And we can dad shawarma right here, looking good. Let me try a little shawarma burger. Got the music going. Yes, hey bro, yes, how are you? Can I try your shawarma burger? Yes sir. What is, what is the meat in it? Open bread, big meat. Big bread and meat, bread and meat. Okay, yeah, let me try. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, I got 50 pesos on this one. You got it? Oh, sorry. You want one more? You want more? Go for it. You got it. You got it. Ah, I'll give me my 50 pesos back, bro. You want one? Come on, bro. Let's check it out. No, nah, man. Y'all suck. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, man. <laughs> okay, don't spit on my burger. <laughs> this is paying for the burger, okay? Who do I pay in? Paying for the burger. Thank you, bro. Oh, man, this looks good. Where's the shawarma? It's not going around. Oh, you got like the cheese in here. They just listen to the rap here. Listen to them. It's Filipino rap? Pita bread. Pita bread. Yeah. Look like hamburger bread. Burger. Oh. <laughs> hey, hamburger buns. That's this right. Pita bread. Okay, bet. Oh, look at this. It's going to be good. Spicy. 35 oh, Of course. That's mine. It'll be looking good. Oh. There's a little swirl there. A little action. He's trying to show off everybody. Got the vlog going. Thanks, bro. Thank you, sir. I'm going to try it right here. Oh, look at that. I'm not beef at the back side of it right here. I'm going to get out of people's way. Oh, here it is right here. They got the griddle going as well. Oh, this is good. They triple sauced it. Look at the inside of that. 35 pesos. That's crazy cheap. We're starting off cheap. Oh, bro. Oh. We got halal, guys. We got all that in America. But I've never seen it with a burger. That's why I had to try it. And this may be one of my new favorite ways to have a burger. That beef, diced, seasoned, tender, juicy, triple sauce is where it's at. It's all about the sauce on this thing right here. Look at it just dripping everywhere on my hands. And the unique texture from those julienne cucumbers. That's where it's at. Masada. Look at that right there. I'm telling you, it's all about that pillowy soft bun with that tender, perfectly spiced beef and them sauce. Cool. I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, sorry you didn't win your pesos. Okay. I think they gave us enough time where things are opening up. Oh, that music changed. That changed the vibe, didn't it? <laughs> no entry. Entrance one way. These are all closed. I thought it was supposed to be food and stuff. This person's eating. She came from that way. So I got a good feeling. 100 pesos for a jacket? Why did I pay 700 for a basketball jersey in Manila? Oh man, I may have got screwed over on that one. Oh my gosh, there's a hole. And I guess it's just clothes out here. All the food's this way, this is insane. I thought there was a small, I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. Something she's never said to me. More shawarma, not really feeling more shawarma. You got like the Filipino delicacies here, quick, quick. Uh, dynamite rolls, look like some fried chicken. Chicharron. Maybe in a second. I gotta kind of make my, my rounds to figure out what I want to eat. Balut, balut, balut. There's like a line over here. El arroz. Harazan. I think it's just like classics. Coffee. I really don't want no coffee this late. All the Filipino people line up for the Korean food. Bro, look at this line for the shawarma. Did I eat the wrong shawarma? It's like I ate the wrong shawarma now after seeing that line. Oh, let's try this. Should be a little sweet. Puto pumbang. Kabinka. Okay, Mama Ed's. We're finally up here. Been like 10 minutes. I think I picked the right stall. Can y'all see behind me? Oh my gosh, like everybody got in this line. So I think we're in the right place. Hello. Can I do a bibinka special and one chocolate? One chocolate. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Finally got ours. Got the babinka. I don't know what that is. Yeah, okay. Can I do this one? The special. Yeah. Are you going to eat it here? Yes, I'll eat it here. So it goes with cheese and then sweetened condensed milk. Yes. Oh, nice. 
And they gotta make the chocolate hot chocolate for us fresh. It's a cold night. I would need some hot chocolate, something to warm me up a little bit. I think this is their puto over here. There you go. Oh, they're so clean here. Yeah. Don't worry about change. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. I'll just wait over here. And this is the puto here, I do believe. I think it's some type of like. I don't think it's rice, but it's something. I think it may just be like. It's something I don't like. I remember I've had it before, but they'll sit it here. I guess they have it with ube. They're going to steam it. And she'll take it off here. And she's going to roll it in shredded coconut and other things you can get it on. I've never had the babinka, so I had to try it. You've had the babinka. Do you know what babinka is? Uh huh. Right. Oh, just fine rice and cheese. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, coconut. Oh, okay, cool. And red egg. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I'll try it now. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So this is the line for it now. I just came to the back of it, doing the Filipino way. I had to take a little squat here. Cause I didn't have enough hands. Oh, look at that hot chocolate. That looks like legit hot chocolate. Almost got smashed by people and hot chocolate run all down me. Oh, the hot chocolate. I'm sure their sweets are good because people are lining up. But if it's anything like that hot chocolate, I did the right thing. Oh, it's like a cake. This is so much more cake-like than I thought it would be. Uh, I guess they make it with a red egg. I don't know if they're feeding them chickens chilies down here or what they're doing while the eggs are red. You know what, Philippines? Dang, that's delicious. That is almost like this pancake, but this like sticky caramelized texture on the outside. A little denser, a little heavier, almost really egg heavy, like a brioche bread. Oh man, it's so dense and so thick. Oh, it's so good. I would take that over like pancakes or waffles or French toast or anything. I could eat that every single day. I'm about to get hit. I'm about to drink my chocolate and find somewhere to sit. This is why you shouldn't come to markets uh, alone. Y'all, excuse me for being a savage. Oh, there's a line here for a reason. Get in it. You know what it is for me? It's that touch of salt they add to it. That little bit of salt really brings out the flavor. Oh no, almost dropped it. I feel like the messy weird foreigner who's trying to eat and vlog. Oh wait, that's exactly what I am. Okay, let's find something I can eat and not feel like a weirdo while I'm eating it. There's lots of stuff I've always, already tried, like xiao mai. I've done so much xiao mai. There's so many kebabs here, actually. More kebabs than I thought there'd be. I'm just trying to find something that's packed. Everybody always loves eating the Korean street food here. Even when I saw the videos when they're like, what to eat here, they're like, you gotta try the Korean street food. We'll see. I just wanna keep looking for other stuff. Let's grab some grilled stuff. It's, it's lit, it looks good. I like an Esau. Hello. Yes, can I get one Esau? Esau? Uh, can I get one, one of barbecue? these? Yes, one barbecue. Uh, do you have like a number one? Can I try this one? Yeah, perfect. And. Pork ear. Pork belly. Oh, pork ear. Let me do pork ear. Perfect. Four piece. Four piece. Yeah, I'm going to do four piece. Thank you, sir. Cool. There you go. We're going to have to really try harder. Thank you. Oh, she said 70. Even better. Oh, wait, she said 80. She gave me 20 back. So I guess that's how they do it. You come here with her, you pick, and then they'll put your order here, and you gotta go over here and you gotta wait for it. I don't know how they know whose is whose. I think everybody's waiting for their barbecue too. I gotta move this around. I'm gonna smell like smoke for the whole night. Cool. You have to remember what you got. I'm trying to remember what I got. <laughs> Can't remember. That was mine. Thank you. Okay, we got it. Now you gotta sauce it up though. And so the sauce station's back here. Oh, I could have got pork skin. Oh. Pork skin's one of my favorite. Okay, we're gonna have to camera down for this part. Finally, I got something I feel like I can eat and hold at the same time. They had two sauces there. One looked like kind of like the, like a soy sauce kind of base. And the other one looked like kind of like a spicy, mm, sweet, spicy, sweet sauce. Oh. 
Oh. The smoke flavor is delicious. I was worried about smelling like smoke, but now I know tomorrow I'm just gonna smell delicious. Mm, man, the barbecue flavor on that, the spices from it. What I love about Filipino food is when you get that meat and that sweet with the heat, the tangy. It's kind of reminds me of barbecue back home. That's what I love. I want to only have three sticks because one of them burnt off. I got more way down in there. Goes back to the Filipino food classics. Just try the staple though, chicken intestines. They're just like I remember. The reason I like the chicken intestines, not just because they're creamy, but the burnt on the outside that gets crispy. You get creamy, you get crispy. Soaks in the flavor of the sauce. They've cleaned it just right. It's beautiful. So many people are scared of this one. I don't know why. This is one of the, my favorite real Filipino things you can get. Mm. I think this is just the meat. This may be the boring one. I got the round one here. I don't even know what this one was. Pretty, pretty good, it's fatty. Oh. Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh, it's so fatty, so heavy. I don't even think there's meat on it. Oh. Masara, thank you, Paul. Oh. That barbecue. Ooh. I've been, I've been three or four years since I've had Filipino barbecue, so to me, that hit the spot, because I don't remember it being that good. Like, I don't know if that one was just that good or what, but that hit the spot. <laughs> More Korean food, which kind of makes sense. I think even like before COVID time, like the number one tourist in Baguio were from Korea. So it makes sense why there's so much Korean food here. I guess I'm, I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm feeling much more full than I want to. And we got a long ways to go before we get to ten dollars. Hello, hello. Can I get a pandan? Pandan, how many? Yes. Just one cup. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Twenty. <laughs> oh yes, sir. Oh yeah, blue lemonade as well. I got for twenty thirty. Boom. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I got cucumber. I got a I don't even know what a got a got is. And then melon. Thirty. Thirty. I feel like I should have gotten blue lemonade. Thank you. Oh. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Welcome to Baguio Night Market. Yes. <laughs> Friendliest guy I've met all night. I got other things. I got the, like the quick cake. We got a little quail. Fried skin. Oh, but I need something to drink. Especially after all that barbecue is so salty. We got other things to try. Let's down it. This corn guy's outgoing, so I gotta try him. Special milky binatong. Binatong. I don't know what. Oh, is it like hominy? Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Can I try the. Is that the yes, milky bing, binatong? Oh, uh, yeah. Can I try one, please? One. Yeah, let me try the one. Small one, the bigger one. Small one. one. Small one. Just small. How much is small? 50 pesos. Okay, let me try Sweet small. or salty? Uh, not, let's go. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go salty. Salt. Coconut. Yes. Coconut and salt. Okay, let's go. Burger? Yes, thank you. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Oh. oh man. What is it? Oh, now it's dirty. Ew. It was dirty before too. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. It's my money. <laughs> that was nice. Tell me my money dropped. Oh my gosh, it's so not what I wanted. I wanted this one, especially milky, but. I somehow got salty with, I don't know, pressure, pressure. It's too hot. That's right. What was your name? Brandon. Brandon, thank you, Brandon. How are you? What's your name? Max. Max. Yes. Are you here alone? I'm here alone. All by myself, man. Oh. Tell you the truth, I'm actually a fan of the salty. Good buff. Oh no, it's gonna fill me up though. Oh, I keep walking and eating. Yeah. Take care. Oh, you too, brother. I tell you, it's so awkward just like here eating. I don't know why. This one's good. I think I probably should have got sweet, but the salty's not bad. It just like hits your stomach with all the salt he put on it. Like this little cup right here, the small, is just inflating in my stomach. Why do all the shawarma places kind of double down as like 
clubs. Every one of them has been either playing like hip hop music or like some club music or something like that. Why is it only the shawarma places though? Boom, there's a reason I came back out of this outside place because they're only doing like chicken skin. Hello, sir. Hi, sir. Is this chicken skin? Chicken skin. How much for one? 100. Okay, I got 100 right here. Spicy. Spicy, yes. Okay. So he's got a spicy sauce here. Oh. For you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's try it out. Masarap. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna try fried chicken skin. I got actually a place to set it down. Oh. Mmm, that spicy sauce. Bog, it's so much easier. You have the place to set your stuff down so you actually have a free hand. Did you get the spicy? Yes, ma'am. It's nice. Oh, you got their sauce on the side. Yeah. That's the professional way to do it. Yeah. I should have watched them. I just got mine poured on it. Mmm. Masarap, sir. Masarap, mm, yeah. Salamat. Okay, thank you. Thank y'all. It's nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet Bye-bye. Thank you. All the cool people hang out back here. You're working here. Wow. Oh, muscle up. Thank you. There are a lot of people selling like the fried chicken skin stuff. I want to go here because they were the only people just doing fried chicken skin. So my, my thing is like if you're the only place doing one thing, it's got to be good. I like the way they battered this too. It's kind of almost like Kentucky fried chicken battering. So it's thick, lots of breading. I don't know why you need the white juicy meat. I mean, you can just have the chicken skin, right? Yes. Is this your YouTube channel? Yeah, that's me. Can we take a picture? Of course. No. Wait, nice to meet y'all. Y'all from Baguio or y'all from? Oh, we're from, from Maria Maria Oh, okay, so you're here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet y'all. You enjoy the weekend. Enjoy your day. Yeah. And everybody I met in Baguio, I don't know if I've ever <laughs> met anybody from Baguio. I feel like everybody's been from somewhere else. Bro, this is so good. We ain't gonna make that. Hello. People just keep saying hello to me, but then don't want to say anything else here. You're like, kind of outgoing, but kind of shy as well. She almost looks like she's got a little kid and daddy in there. Nothing I can do, nothing I can handle. I hate to say it, but uh, I may be tapped out. Oh man, I'm glad we got to hang out with the bros before they sold out. They had that much and they sold out that fast. I'm glad we got to hang out with them bros. They were cool. Um, y'all. That's all I got for the market. That was only like four or five things. That was a bad showing by me, but I'm full. That's the problem of going with one person. Nobody to share it with. Uh, more fun to go with friends to night markets. I guess that's what I realized. So I don't want to waste any more food. I don't want to half eat a lot of stuff. I'm going to call it there. I don't know. We'll see what we got coming next. Catch you at the next one.